everybody. Welcome to My Plastic Life. Kinley has joined us this evening in her cherry blossom dress. Fun fact, we both love cherry blossoms and Japanese things in general. And speaking of Japanese things, I am addicted. <laughs> I have gone crazy buying Brie Mint, and I have managed to find some that are complete sets. See? The label confirms a complete set. This particular one is Traditional Japanese Life. And you can see from the top of the box, they've got the Lucky Cat, there's some health items, a bento box, some tea, little cherry blossoms, a vase, and all kinds of other goodies. Let's get to it. I've moved Kinley to a little cushion on the floor with this little table. Let's go with traditional Japanese, plus that gives us some more room to see her for size comparisons. So the first box I opened was set number one chest and that set consists of a little lucky cat we have a little cup of green tea the tea can be removed and we also have a plate of what looked like some sort of little dumpling uh, and one has a bite taken out of it so that's super cute and we also have this chest of drawers now it's obviously too small for barbie but it's still really neat. I love that you can see all the wood grain detail and all of these drawers do actually open and they do come out as well. The next set to be opened was number five. It is called, it's either Shoki or Shoji. I'm not entirely sure of the pronunciation and I do apologize. This one appears to be some sort of game. It comes with a little game table and it has these little tiles that are meant to be placed on the table, but they need to be uh, cut out and assembled and have all these little decals put on. I'll be doing that off camera, but you can see in this photo what it's supposed to look like upon completion. We also have a little floor cushion. I'm not entirely sure what this is. It looks like a little bench, but I could be mistaken. If anyone knows what it is, please feel free to leave me a comment. It also comes with these two little boxes that hold the game pieces, and they do, well, they do actually open. That one's just being a little stubborn at the moment, but they do actually open. The next box I opened was set number two, which is the first aid kit. It comes with this very cute little first aid box with some wood grain detail on it. The box does open and inside we have various medical supplies. I believe this is some sort of vitamin. If you could see that there. Everything is written in Japanese so I'm not sure what it says but I'm guessing it's a vitamin. This is some sort of pill and if you look closely, you can see a little cluster of pills inside. Uh, the bottles do not open, but in my case, that's okay, because that would be more I would risk losing. The kit also comes with a roll of gauze. And we've also got, I think these might be eye drops, because it kind of looks like there's little tears or uh, water droplets up there but I could be mistaken. And we also have this cute little uh, thing of pills. And it, if you look closely, it looks like the popping, uh, the bubble pop down pills that you see a lot of today. The kit also comes with three boxes that are meant to be folded. And I believe I'm supposed to glue these together now. Uh, I have not done that yet because I did not want to glue them if I wasn't supposed to because I'm not as familiar with remint, but I'm pretty sure that's what I'm supposed to do. And the set also comes with this cute little faux lamp. It reminds me of one of the larger ones. 
you see on on floors but in this case it would definitely be more of a tabletop lamp but that's okay I, I still think it's cute and it'll definitely work my Japanese dollhouse the next box is set number seven which is called favorite pot this one comes with a beautiful gold and white ombre vase with cherry blossoms painted on it and this is a very nice sized vase for a 1 6 scale doll this set also comes with this pretty blue and white plate and on that plate you can set some food items so we have some meat here and we have a decorative garnish leaf a cute little lemon that actually has some transparency in it so very realistic again I'm a big fan of that and we also have the world's tiniest ball of wasabi that I love that little detail that's about my limit of wasabi I can tell you that right now we also have a small bowl of what appears to be soy sauce and we also have two chopsticks with a little holder I have to say I really like the detail in this set I'm not sure what kind of meat that is but it, it looks tasty I'll give it that the next box is set number eight which is desk with this set you get a small desk with detailed wood grain, three working drawers, a vase and a small branch of cherry blossoms, a little book of some sort. It does not open, but it's still a cute little prop. A purple plate with two little green delectables on it. And one of them has a bite taken out of it once again. I am not sure what this little green object is. It does come with it, but I, I'm honestly at a loss as to what it is. I don't know if it's a garnish of some sort or if it's supposed to be a pen. I'm honestly not sure. So if anyone knows, please feel free to leave me a, a message in the comments. The next box is set number three, which is uh, Hanatsuki. Hanatsuki? I apologize, I'm not sure how to correctly pronounce that, so I probably just butchered it. <laughs> this set consists of a red bento box with gold trim, all kinds of little goodies in there, and all of this food is removable. I'm not sure what it all is. This looks like some sort of bean, and this definitely looks like some sort of dessert. These almost look like crackers or biscuits. The set also comes with a little paddle looking type thing. I'm not sure what its purpose is, but I do like the design on it. There's also this very pretty little flower garnish, a set of chopsticks in a removable pouch, and a bowl of some sort of yummy. I think it might be a soup. Second to last box is set number four, which is called Relaxing Time. This set comes with a pretty black wood grain plate with gold bamboo painted on it, a small little teapot with a removable lid, a small cup and saucer with removable green tea inside, a little clock that has a mount on it so it can be placed on a wall, and the hands in the clock do actually move, a little wooden bowl with four removable oranges, I believe this is a back scratcher and a cute little dog statue with a removable wicker item that goes over his tail. And last but not least is set number six, which is Osechi? Oseki? I'm not sure on the pronunciation once again. I apologize for that. This set comes with a different red bento box with gold trim. This bento box has a lid. Once again, the, the food items in here are removable. We have what appear to be fish eggs here, shrimp, and let's see, maybe coleslaw here. I'm not entirely sure, but everything is very detailed, which is quite common with Remint. I absolutely love all the detail that Remint gives us. We also get another set of chopsticks with their removable holder. 
a small bowl, probably meant for dipping sauce, a bottle of wine or champagne, or maybe it's sake since this is Japanese, and a very colorful plate consisting of white, gold, blue, green, and red in a pretty pattern with a plate stand. And that is the complete collection of Remint Traditional Japanese Live Miniatures. I should also point out that each of these little pamphlets that come in each of the box have two cutouts on the back. Now most of them look like they're little calendars. Uh, this one is like a diploma or an award of some sort. And this is a pretty coy wall picture. And this is some sort of game, it looks like. But uh, most of them appear to be little, little calendars with pretty Japanese pictures on them. And the, you can cut those out and either glue them or sticky tack them to a wall. Overall, I'm really happy with the set. Some items are a little smaller than I anticipated they would be after seeing other remint items. I think maybe this particular set is actually made a little smaller than some of the newer stuff. But it's okay. Overall, I'm very pleased. Some of this stuff will definitely be going in my Japanese dollhouse. And I look forward to expanding my remit collection. The detail is just amazing. Let me know what you think in the comments. Are you a remit fan? Do you like this set? Uh, just let me know your thoughts, and thanks for watching, and I will see you next time when I unbox another remit set. Thanks. Bye-bye.